was on the wall right there. So whoever stole the mummy must have stashed him in here. Oh, look who's here. Come to change the light bulb, Parker? No, actually, I came to blow up the reactor. Do you need any help? Hey! Ah, Professor, thought you might be interested in this. What happened? We found this. It's definitely from the mummy's wrappings. Looks like somebody's playing a very sick game. Please stay away from the green stuff if there's any on him. It's very dangerous. It can be fatal. I don't think the fungus killed him. All right, what did? Parker did it! Impossible. Why? It looks like every bone in that boy's body's broken. There's not a mark on him. We figure he hit that wall with incredible force. Well, Jack Parker's pretty strong. Nobody's that strong. Moore. And this isn't the first time you've tried to cover something up because you don't want to smell bad in the press. I beg your pardon, Lieutenant. You're addressing the president of an accredited university. Don't interfere with this investigation. Don't withhold information. And don't play detective. What about the mummy? Well, you look for your mummy, Doctor. I'm looking for a murderer. Susie and I have been researching a theory of sorts. First of all, I want to warn you, it's going to sound very unbelievable, but please just bear with me. I know it can't be proved, but this fungus, well, I think we all agree it's like nothing else we've ever encountered. I'd have to agree with that. Suppose that was because it didn't come from Earth. Where else would it have come from? I can't. You've seen this x-rays of our mummy. You said he wasn't a normal human being. Suppose he wasn't a human being. Oh, Doug. I said it would sound crazy. You remember the scroll? It said all who touched the weary traveler became afflicted and died, except Unc Finn Horace, because he was immune. Because he wasn't human. We all agree that we're dealing with something unknown. But I can't, myself, take a quantum leap into the supernatural. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor, but with all due respect, we have to have some basis in fact. I've got the best available equipment at my disposal. I've, been, I've, I've come up with absolutely nothing. I mean, it simply does not exist. Look, Doug, the bottom line is this. Whatever it is, we still have to find out who took it and where it is now. Otherwise, more people are going to get hurt. 
Thanks to McCadden, we are in deep trouble. Two of our donors have withdrawn their bequests. Five hundred thousand dollars out the window. Oh. Maybe there's a way of turning this whole thing around. How, Bruce? How? What if he stole the mummy? Huh? He wasn't ready to unveil that mummy, so he had it stolen and hidden where he could work on it in private. And then when he's ready to find it and unveil it, he'll find it and come out a big hero. No, I don't think that scenario is going to hold water, Bruce. I do, and I think I can prove it. You don't think it's walking around on its own, do you? <laughs> Where's it coming from? My bracelet. Suze, that looks exactly like the diagram that I found inside the scroll. It can't be a coincidence. Susie, where'd you get this bracelet? Well, it was a present from this guy named Stanley. You know where it came from? No. Susie, can you call him? Now? Yeah, honey, it's important. That diagram and this crystal have the same pattern. They've got to be related. I've seen that pattern before. I know I have, or something like it anyway. When you asked me about it in your office, I couldn't remember, but... What, hon? What? I know. My brother used to build radios, and, and I, I think he had diagrams lying around that looked like that. Radio? Maybe Parker will know. This was in the coffin? Yeah. It's amazing. It looks like some kind of wiring schematic. Like for making radios? Right, but what would it be doing in a 3,000-year-old coffin? Jack, could this have something to do with it? Maybe. Crystals could be used as transmitters. Jack, look at this. What's going on, Doug? There must be a connection. If this did belong to Ankh Van Harris, what would he have used it for? I mean, he couldn't have been building radios in ancient Egypt. Susie, I want you to go to the Astronomy Center, see what else you can find on ancient phenomena. But also, check out those NASA information bulletins on ultra-long-range communication. Honey, if you don't find anything, come right back. What's it printed on? This doesn't feel like paper. Analysis came up with blank. Matches no other material. Either natural or synthetic. Like nothing else, huh? Just like the fungus. And Ankh Van Harris. to the observatory to see some comet or something. Thank you.
definitely a connection between the two. It's logical, but I still don't know what it means. Let me have another look at that crystal. Susie. Oh, my God. 